five felters and welcome so we are straight into it it's the second and I normally have a little break but I've got a few things to show you so let's just do it um I bought these mushroom it's like a mushroom plaque thing from a shop near us I just thought it's really pretty really sort of inspirational so I've got that and I'm doing the mushroom house at the moment that video will be up by then I have sold this little one so got to pack up that one very carefully because of the clay horns this is always my worry and then these things arrived so I ordered these from I will put the name on the screen but you get a load of stars and a load of felted balls and I was just really intrigued to see what we're looking at when you order something like that um, £10.50 for each and I think yeah they're quite nice so um, I might make some sort of bunting with them and then I've just ordered some felt it is I think it's 100% wool but I've just got to check I was thinking of making some felting mats so yeah we are straight into it um, and I will pack up this little one first brand new street and brand new me side by side by friends I need don't you tell me that you're in town I already know a couple days ago hey now that our names are written in stone let's be honest sounds like home still I'm here alone and I'm calling your phone I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could dream about somebody else I wish I could talk when the silence so loud I wish oh Here we go, they're all set out in colours, they're really good, I really really like them so I think I'm going to do a mixture of star and balls and make two bits of bunting. The only problem is that one ball is too small because you can get different size balls and they sent me that one by accident I should imagine but yeah look at that, really, yeah really cute. So my daughter has helped me organise them into colour ranges, obviously I can't use that tiny one, now I'm going to try and get the cord through with this and the secret with this is to pull it through with that through the balls because it's really quite hard to pull it through but it's possible and I've got to decide on whether to do knots and leave big gaps we'll have a look there we go all done I just really like them I put them together so I would sell them I don't know about 12 13 14 pounds each but yeah really cute um, the stars were a bit awkward probably wouldn't order them again but definitely I might think of other things to do with these I love the color range so this is actually Yarndale but in a completely different form this is Skipton uh, market and I went to buy some fleece off a lady there and it was Valet Blacknose fleece and it happened to be Valet Blacknose sheep sales so my husband is very lucky I didn't come home with one I could have bought that one home look at that they are so beautiful and gorgeous and their fleece is absolutely to die for so I was really happy with the fleece that I purchased um, the dogs absolutely loved it the fleece is extremely uh, clean so I was very very lucky and um, I had to stop filming because the dogs were about to eat that one that's the raw wool that I've got to wash and then I've been getting to grips with my heat press I had to get a special adapter to use it because it came from America I'm going to do some of my daughter's designs on these bags as well in the future these bags with the canvas they are really really nice so but uh, yeah really good so here they are all done and yeah these are my absolute most favorite bags they're really really smart they do cost me <laughs> double the price of those ones but I think they will work really well um but yeah over overall I think it's come out really well I thought this could be great for needles this could be great for wools or tools um so I'm going to pop them on Instagram and just see if there's a general yes people like them or not but yeah I am super happy so far
So alongside the tote bags, I've also finished this needle felting house and I put quite a bit of glue on it actually to keep it all together. So it's all glued nicely. I'm going to go and take some shots in the woods, edit the video and get the video up ASAP. But yeah, I quite enjoyed it. I like the effects. It's very sweet. So I just wanted to show you, I have made my first felting mat and yeah, I'm really pleased with it, really pleased with uh, the edge of it so um, and it's really really firm that's what I wanted is basically a, I'd like to have a felty mat that's lovely and firm so obviously um, this is going to be my design that's the only thing there just I had to hand stitch that up so just got that little tiny wrinkle there but the rest of it is super smart two colors so I'm going to test this out for a couple of weeks and see what it's like but yeah they're quite <sighs> fun to make actually quite pleasurable might get a little logo thing I don't know I'll have to have a look see how much they are and then price it up and see if it's worth doing little mats like this but yeah cute um so I'll try that out and get my needles in it that's you might see this one in my videos for a bit so I am actually enjoying using this mat which is good I'm just doing a base for something for a video coming up um yeah I just I've had somebody inquire about that so it might be sold it's exciting um there's got it's still got a slight wobble on it um because it was glued but I have just explained that all to the lady um just to show you, yeah, my scales, I had to get a new set because these are very good for wool, but when you have parcels that are too big, you can't read the dial. So just so people know these exist, they were £35, so yes, they're quite a bit, but for me it's going to be essential. Um, that's the reader, and you can obviously have it sort of further away from the scale, so that's really good, and it just makes life a lot easier. Tiny little thing. Um, and yeah, it weighs up to 50, 50 kilograms, I think this one. Yeah, 50 kilograms, but it does it in two gram increments, so it's perfect for me. And I've just um, put some wax on these and I'm just going to polish them. So really hot weather, the fan is out, but yeah, desk is looking a little bit of a mess. Yeah, just to show you, I've polished these two um, and I've still got these three to do. But I think, I think it makes a difference and it gives them a sort of a darker, deeper colour. So I think it's worth it. I just put wax on and then I just use a cloth and, and polish it off. But I think it's nicer. seal has also sold to the same lady that bought the mushroom house so I am just wrapping him up super super carefully this is where it just gets a little bit challenging trying to keep him safe in the box and the whiskers worry me but she knows she's a needle felter so um, she'll know sort of what to do but yeah just package him up and just to show you scales in action, they're on scales and then I can actually read the dial easily. 902 grams, that's one of my heaviest parcels. So I had a good weekend um, with a couple of kits sold as well. Um, all packaged up so I was really pleased with that but I'll talk to you about the problems with Etsy in a minute. Lawn mower going, washing machine going, it's all happening around here. Just wanted to show you, I got you, uh, I got you, I got me. Uh, this for my bags it's just a simple um, wooden stand because when I'm at Yummy Yorkshire I really don't have much room and then if I was to do a lot more bags and if I got into Yarndale next year um, I will get a sort of a long hanging rack but this is just it's just sort of perfect to put at the edge of my table um, so that arrived I was really pleased with that and I'm just about to make up some kits on a very hot day. But I have enough wool to make up kits. World of Wool has a huge bat shortage, which 
I heard about briefly three weeks ago and didn't think anything of it. So hopefully, I don't know what it is. I might ring and find out next week. It's something to do with, obviously, the mills. But I've got enough to make up a few more kits, so I'm going to do that now. Hey, Felters, so it's the 11th, and I am just doing this little one. It's a little practice for a video that I am doing. Um, yeah, I just wanted to discuss a few things which have, well, Etsy, <laughs> they have driven me up the wall. They are unbelievable so every so often you have to verify your bank account when I say every so often literally I don't know once every five years or something it's I really don't remember the last time I verified my bank account and I have had an Etsy account for many years because I used to sell jewelry before felt anyway and they said all oh, right you've got to verify your bank account so you enter your bank details in and they go we'll send you a really tiny um, small payment and this is what Google AdSense do to set up your account we'll send you a really tiny small payment and you just need to enter that figure here and so they sent that and that was last week probably about seven days ago then the small amount went into my account like literally two days after that and it was like 0 0.09 pence and it's the only smallest amount that Etsy would ever pay me you know I take my money out in in chunks and I request it out of Etsy every sort of couple of weeks and um, so I put in so first off you couldn't enter that amount and they hold they what they do is they withhold your money until you verify your bank account and uh, so it, I had to wait another four days before they actually let me enter in the 0 0.09 pence or whatever and then it tells me that's the wrong amount. I'm like, you are kidding me. It's, as far as I'm concerned, that there is no way that's the wrong amount. And then they go, right, you have to send us a bank statement. So then I started trying to send them a bank statement. And then it had to be over 10 KB. And then uh, it had to be JPEG or uh, PDF. And that was I, said, I was sending it in JPEG. And it was not accepting it. So in the end, I put it in a PDF. And then it accepted it. And now I have to wait another five to seven days before they might verify it. The problem being is that I have had quite a good um, weekend or a couple of, uh, yeah, quite a good five or six days. There's about £400 that they're withholding from me now. And I have heard about this. I, um, Yeah, I've heard people have had issues where Etsy do withhold their money. And I sort of think, is this a little bit of an Etsy thing where they... Just withhold your money for a bit, make their accounts look a bit better. Etsy, very, very annoying. So I will keep you updated on how much longer it's going to take to get my money released. I have to say, they literally have not done this. When you open up a new shop, they withhold your money. I understand that because they're waiting to see that the buyers um, don't complain, that they get their goods, that you're not sort of a fraudulent shop, which they had a, an awful lot of people start fraudulent shops and say they would do things and then they never did so they withhold to begin with I kind of get that um, but this is really really annoying since I've never had a problem with them so that's Etsy next up oh yeah just to keep you updated world of wool I don't know if anyone else has had issues and I kind of heard about it a while ago the bats um, have been out and it's really annoying because I do use some of the bats for my um, kits and so I don't know if I mentioned it the other day I've managed to get hold of some wool from somewhere else but I rang them up today basically they had to do maintenance on the machine that produces the bats so it was out out of order for probably I don't know how long exactly but I think he might have said a week or two and then now they're on catch up and um, when they do each colour they have to completely clean the machine in between, which I understand as well. And as soon as they're putting any of the bats up, they're just being purchased straight away. So it's going to take them a while. And I said, weeks. <laughs> and he was like, yeah. so it could be a short while before World of Wool are back up to scratch and having all the bats in stock. However, from my point of view, I just think at least they're going to have them back in stock at some point. So, yeah, if you're trying to order, everything else is fine. It's just the bats on the big bat machine. Super simple, dinky 
a little mushroom is up there with the others. again just doing this pumpkin stack video which I sort of came up with an idea for <laughs> just I got my walls out but I went to get my walls out of my baskets in the garage and there was a massive spider in there so I'm now too scared to go in there no I did I got the spider out because I had to because I was like oh I can't leave it in there but yeah so I'm just doing this and then my daughter just rang from college she's all she started college last week. She's doing really, really well, but um, oh, she just didn't know she'd saved her work. So we had to go online, just sort out the mini panic, <laughs> walk the dogs in the rain, which it still hasn't stopped. And um, back to this video. This pumpkin stack is all done. And do you know when you actually create something and you really like it? I think it's really sweet. Really pleased with it. I'm going to try and put it on the table downstairs in our dining room, but yeah. Uh, so that video, I've got to edit that in a minute. I'm kind of, <laughs> there's the owl stuff in the corner. I think I'm procrastinating over the owl video because I know it's quite hard work. But yes, I've done this one. I'll get this one up and out in the next few days. I've just realised that pumpkin one's n actually not going to go up for a while because I've got a weaving kit going up in a couple of days. Then there's the Yarndale one, which I'll sort of, try and get out really really quickly because I go on the Saturday and I try and get the video out by the Sunday and then it's the studio vlog and then the pumpkin stack will go up so um yeah but so sneak peek <laughs> and Etsy verified my bank account on the day I sent the statement so that's really good but then in the email it says you will have to wait five days before you can take your money out so we're now up to, they've got £462 of mine and, um, sorry, it's the dogs. And you think, oh my God, that's quite a lot of money. So no wonder people get really nervous of uh, these things with Etsy. Completely understand it, but anyway, I'm sure I've got to wait another three days, I think it is. And I'll let you know if I get that money back straight away. So because of the World of Wool shortage, I've tried somewhere else. And this is Simply Felting, which I think is under the name of Fuzzy Wuzzy Felt. I'm not sure, but Simply Felting is um, the website. And this is a carded fine core. And I got one kilogram for £16.90. So that's that and that together. Is that the correct one? Yeah, that's £16.90. And um, it looks really... It looks good, you know, and then I got a pearl court silver, which is Slithers, um, 500 grams, and that was £10. So very good price. This is the whitest uh, natural she has, but, you know, it, yeah, they look really good. So hopefully they'll be okay as a substitute for my kits and very good price. It's Thursday now, actually. It's Thursday. And um, I'm doing the owl course. Let me just 
show you. Hopefully you can see that. Cup of tea. Um, I've started on it, so I'm really pleased to have it underway. Etsy, same situation. Um, £562 in there now. And it's, so it's Thursday. Hopefully I get it tomorrow. Otherwise, you know that the weekend is going to mean I'm not going to get it. So they will have had my money for about eight to ten days at least. And my business account got down to £5. So I had to transfer money over to pay postage because I'm still selling kits and I have to pay postage of like £15.90 or £31 I had to pay earlier. So I had to transfer money over from our account to it. You imagine if people were actually, I mean, I'm depending on the money now because you can see I'm having to take it from our account. But if people had to pay a mortgage or something, I just don't think that it's very fair of Etsy to be keeping the money for so long. I am a definite supporter of using Etsy. I always have been. But this is showing me the problems that people have. So but anyway, I'm going to crack on with the owl course whilst I can. And um, hope I get the money tomorrow. I'll let you know. I love supporting small businesses on Etsy and I love earrings. So the two go hand in hand. So I just bought these. But look, Dandelion Wishes. Oh, so cute. And look, I get a little sticker. Oh, anyway. Um, so let's just open these up. Look, beautiful thank you note on there. Oh, really nice sticker. You know how you don't want to open it sometimes? Oh my gosh, it's printed on there. So many little things. So I thought I'd get these little earrings for um, autumn. Little pumpkin spiced latte. But £12 UK, no postage. Really beautiful. I hope she is making a profit. Dandelion wishes clay. So I've just walked the dogs in the rain well it wasn't too bad but it's just you know when it's wet everywhere where you walk and my come back with soaking wet socks but I'm going to go and have my hair done next because I'm trying to go ash more ashy because I am grey I'm going to be 50 this year um but I keep coming through blonde <laughs> so just going to put a toner on it so hopefully it'll be slightly different when I get back and just um, a couple more things that have arrived. I've got more cards from um, Heidi Feathers, which is great because I put them in my kits. And she has redone the cards. And the silver, the triangulars used to be called regulars, but um, they're now put as triangular needles, which is really good because regular was just a little bit confusing. I know you guys have seen this before, but this is um, the leaflet that goes out with Heidi Feathers and my name is on it. So, And there's a couple of others fit to be loved childhood hood in Yelena Serafina Fiber Hobby Bird Julie's Felt his friends and Artie Felts um and then I've ordered some more of those balls because if I sell just whiz round if that one sells god it's really dark in here will it lighten up there we go if I sell that one I'll be really sad so I've got some more of those balls and then I got these for a Halloweeny type um, garland that I'm going to do and then also so I ordered a felt for this uh, needle felting pad that I'm making so every now and again there are some guard hairs that are coming off and so if you um, if you're felting you don't really want that so I'm trying out this which is much much better no guard hairs so we'll see what this is like um, but yeah, as I was using that, the guard hairs were coming off that side. This one was fine, but it's just that side. The guard hairs are the slightly thicker hairs that don't take up the dye at all. So this is a bit of a weird angle. You're up on my cooker hood, but it's working. Um, it's Monday the 18th. My son is at university. My daughter is at college. No one's here. I've walked the dogs. I've been to the shops, done the food shopping. Dinner's all sorted. It's really bizarre, I'm all on my own. So let's uh, crack on with the owls. But yeah, just enjoying the peaceful house <laughs> for half an hour and having a cup of tea. I also have an order that I have to post out, but look at this little trio of owls waiting for me. And one on the way. I'm delighted to report that, yes, we had to wait till the Monday, but I have got all that money 
540 pounds from Etsy finally so I feel for you people if you have to go through this with Etsy I completely understand why so many people are against it but luckily I'm all verified and hopefully I shouldn't have any problems uh, for at least another five years with that fingers crossed for a few days because I have been editing the videos for for hours and I've just done sort of intro video for the course and then the out the video thanking people at the end and then the YouTube video um, and I'm not gonna come on here and whinge about the amount of editing I've been doing I'm halfway through voiceovers and uploading those of you that follow me know what it's like and I've whinged enough about Etsy in this um, uh, vlog so I think I might cut down some of the Etsy whinging because I've got the money now so let's just get on with it and everything's back to normal I just have to mention as well I had a really exciting email yesterday from Lara at World of Wool and they want me to be a product tester for anything that they think would be suitable because obviously they do World of Wool do um, stuff for spinners for knitters for crochets for other crafts but anything that's suitable for me and for needle housing um, they would send me the item and I give my honest feedback so um, and she said honest as well so that's really good um, you know do I like it reasons why I don't and stuff like that so um, and also I am I am welcome to share it on my channel if I want and obviously if things were um, I didn't like something I probably wouldn't share it or I'd only share things that I don't come on she says after having whinged I don't come on here to um, promote to, to, to be negative about a product you know I try not to um, take on a review of something that I think is really bad I take on reviews of things that I think are good so but yeah I'm really excited about that really excited so thank you world of wool I was gonna so it's Thursday morning and I'm getting there with everything for the L course and I was like really pushing and I was like right I'm going to do it this weekend and then I realised I'm at Yarndale and that is so not the time to release a course when I wouldn't be here for um, I'd probably release it on the Friday and I'm not going to be home until Saturday evening so that's a no-no because problems arise when people purchase the course um, and minor ones I've only had like if I had a discount say three or four people it didn't go through for but if there were any problems, I wouldn't be around to deal with it. So I've delayed this till the following weekend. So this will still be up and done before the um, end of the month. So that's good. So I had my pumpkin stack video, which I really like. It's a good size. Um, I think I showed you it earlier. I'm sure I did. But so I had that done for a while and I was going to save it for um, October. But now is kind of the time that everybody is making pumpkins. So I just put it out yesterday, I think it was. But I was saving it because I'm trying to get a backlog of videos up that um, 
will help me through October because the beginning of October I am going in for a small operation on my ear. I have a, a slight lump just under there but they've got to make quite a big cut down and across because of the nerves. So it's a partial parotidectomy if anyone is medical out there. And um, it's going to be an overnight stay and I'm going to be obviously very sore afterwards for a short while. So if there is a gap <laughs> on my um, social media and my videos and everything, that's why. And if I'm not responding to comments, that's why as well, because I'm going to have obviously have a bit of forced time off, which is a good thing. If you are involved in any sort of social media, it's really good to have a break from it. So but that's why if you don't hear from me for a short while. But hopefully it'll all go okay. I'm sure it will. And my husband is going to be around to help with the dogs. And he's got a bit of time off. So that's good. So I quickly popped to World of War to pick up an order. Because they're only about 20 minutes from me. And this is Skylar the Stag. I think it's one of their new ones. And I just thought I'd show you if you wanted to see what it looks like. I think it looks quite nice actually. Um, and then I went to Yarndale. So I went to the Airbnb that I had, a, I had booked from when I was going to be an exhibitor. Um, and it was a really lovely Airbnb. It was about 15 minutes away. And I think it was um, the sort of farmhouse garage that they'd converted. So because I was on my own, it was quite nice that, that they were right beside me. But I could park there. It was um, an, next to an old quarry. And then they had some alpacas in the fields the next morning that I saw. But stunning, stunning scenery around there. I got to take the country route to Yarndale, which was really nice because normally I sort of come in in a different direction. But went all the way down the country lanes. And there's a whole video on Yarndale on my channel. So it's definitely worth watching if you like wool. There's just, it's just tons of it. And I had an absolutely brilliant time there. And this is obviously Yarndale, um, full up of exhibitors and not sheep, but yeah, great, great day there. Good morning. It's the 28th. So we're getting towards the end of the month and I really apologize. I didn't video me felting these two. I'm going to video me felting something in a minute. I'll show you. Um, so I did this one with the new valet wool that I've got. So it's just a bauble. And then I did this one which is based on my sitting down highland cows so sitting down valet sheep i am loving the wool it's um it's just yeah it's fantastic working with wool is very pleasurable isn't it and then along those same lines this one has sold he's going to america my heart sort of drops when i see that some of my favorites have sold but this is what this business is about. You have to sell them. So I'm going to have to wrap that one up very carefully because he's got the clay horns. But thank you so much if you're watching and you're the person that purchased him. Um, I went to World of Wool just to show you. I got their Autumn Equinox collection gifted to me now that I'm a tester. So I'm going to do um, some good things with this. Actually, I watched the wet felting um, living felt on pumpkins that she did. I said that all weirdly, living felt, the wet felted pumpkins that she did. And I think that would be perfect for this package. Anyway, so I'm going to possibly do something around that. I also have to mention um, a, one of my ladies who's a subscriber, she has difficulty holding the needles and she has found this company called JP Inventions and they will develop uh, a needle felting holder for you. So it helps you with if you've got arthritis or if you've got any problems with your hands. So I'll just put some pictures up now of the kind of things that they that they can develop for you. They're on Etsy, so it's called JP Inventions and it's a, a 3D uh, molding company. And also they did a really good pen um, uh, needle holder. So that was um, really, uh, it's a really good thing to be aware that if you are struggling with holding the needles, there are things out there that can help you, so. Um, the other thing I want to show you what I'm doing is, <laughs> are you ready for it? There we go. I think you can see him or her. Ooh. It's not quite um, uh, firm enough yet. So it will be once you start sort of adding more cool. But this is going to be my uh, feature for my stands. Oh my goodness, yeah, I'm changing my stand a little bit. I must show you that. I'll show you that next too. Uh, so yeah, that's really good. <laughs> that I'll video some of that, but... Being the 28th, I don't know if it'll be finished by the end of the vlog, but that's a bit fun and challenging. <laughs> Family came in and go, what is it? They couldn't work. Like, I can see it's going to be a sheep. You're going to fill in down there. It's going to be a sheep. 
looks a bit like a greyhound I think at the moment so um, and I'm just going to be using any wool I have to sort of fill it out I'm not one to have things hollow on the inside, I want it to be solid. So this arrived from World of Wool. Look at this delightful box of candy almost. Um, so yeah, these are just products for me to sort of go through. I'm just going to try and show you a couple of the colours because I think some of the names are really, really funny. So um, their staff design blends quite a lot. Uh, Mystic Forest by Sarah Jane, beautiful colours. Look at this, Five a Day by Motti. I love that, Five a Day, fantastic. Snow Leopard by Robin. It's a nice colour for, I'd say, doing a Herdwick sheep. Um, the, Luminous the Luminous Lagoon. That's like a fantasy novel, isn't it? Look at that, it's a nice colour. Best one ever, Wave by Dave. If only we could make this really popular. What a name, <laughs> Wave by Dave. Gorgeous colours again. Uh, white Kashgora, Grey Kashgora, oh, Sea Swell by Lara. So Lara's the lady who can answer the phone quite a lot when you ring. She's really lovely, really helpful, so that's nice. Hawaiian Dreams by Lee. That is a bright, bright blend. Um, I will show you. I'll just pull one of the blends apart because they aren't as bright if you use them as a sort of tops way that I do. Did I say that? Prancing Pony by Sara. Very pink, perfect for... Um, if you were doing any ponies or if you're doing anything unicorny. Uh, Dragon's Breath by Linda. Another magical fantasy colour. Nice. And, oh, okay. Dear de Merto by Declan. What? Declan? I'm going to have to look that up and see what that means. But that is a really nice colour, actually. Might have a look at that. So I'll just get a couple of them out. So this is, just to show you, this is Luminous Lagoon by Ross. So it's um yeah it's a beautiful blend but if you pull it out it sort of it goes a bit softer oh this is sheeny so this has got a sheen in it this is Dia de Mertos by Declan but yeah that's got a nice sheen in it there you go so some really beautiful colours what am I going to do and then also we've got some um, yarn because I do use yarn oh I like the card. Yarn. Can you see my camera's backwards? <laughs> um, this is Autumn Tones for Ply Hank because I do use uh, yarn to do sheep coats, so I said I'd definitely have a look at some of those. But yeah, that's I like the texture of it anyway. Wish I could knit. There we go. So some good fun colours there. Yeah, and just to say, this um, Autumn Equinox collection. It's got some stunning colours in it. They have so many bags of a uh, combination of colours at World of Wool. They have, honestly, I went in the other day, at least about 50, I think, of different types. Perfect for all different projects. So do go and have a look on their website. So here we are in the garage and this is kind of <laughs> what I'm working towards. So I wanted a stand to go over the top. Um... This is my new bunting that I got from my friend. I've got some eucalyptus uh, fake plants and then I was really inspired by loads of greenery at uh, Yarndale on a couple of stands. It looked really, really good. So I'm kind of working towards this, I think. And then I might paint, these are my display items. I, they're mostly wood. I might paint them all white so that my felted items stand out a bit more. Just thinking about it, just running over ideas. My craft fair isn't till November. And then the other thing I was gonna mention is my operation has been delayed by another two weeks, which is completely normal, it's gonna happen. Um, it's, the operation I'm going on is called on diagnosis because I don't know what the lump is. So I am fairly urgent, but really I'm not that urgent in my eyes because we don't think it's anything awful really, but we're not sure. So um, it's going to be towards the end of October. So that's when, hopefully, if that one goes ahead, that's when I probably won't be around much on social media. Just adding a few layers onto this. Luckily, this is for me. Somebody has joined me and sat on the wool. Don't look away. I know it's you. And you were trying to nibble it, weren't you? You good girl. Yes. Just building up uh, the legs. And now I'm going to build up underneath here. Someone's really comfy now, is that the best? Do you love it?
So just uh, to show you, I am at this stage of um, the sheep. So I've come along a bit. It's the next day. It's not taking too long actually because you just build it up with uh, wool and then wrap yarn around it. Um, Stability is going to be an issue. I'd never want to sell something this size <laughs> and I'm going to start to do the head a bit because I need that so I can see, like so I can understand the dynamics. But this is going to have, I've got to felt this down so it's going to take ages, but um this is going to have a long wool on it, so it's going to look super fluffy on top of this. So I will wrap the legs down, do the head, felt this all down, and then have a look at everything. garage again uh, next batch of kits are underway I've only got one sheet bauble kit left on the shelf I've got 10 of the others all done so that's really good I'm on to my last nice bat from world of wool I'm a bit nervous about this or my last batch rather I've got these the kits all done every single I've only got three they're all stocked up 10 of each and I'm getting there with the legs starting on this one it's going to take time I went to a Macmillan uh, sort of coffee morning and they had craft fairs and I bought this beautiful um, hair cushion. It's machine embroidered, but yeah, um, really well done. Look at the detail. Must have taken her ages and it's goose down in there. It's really nice padding inside, 20 pounds. So I told her often she should be charging more. I went to this other lady and I bought this. <laughs> You're gonna laugh at me. And I, I I looked at all her stuff and then I picked that out and I said, oh, yeah, I love your sheep. <laughs> and she said nothing. Uh, she was very uh, super polite and just very sensibly said nothing to me. And I bought it and then I got home and I'm looking at it going, that's a pig. That's not a sheep at all. <laughs> it's got a curly tail. That, what do you think? That's That's a pig, isn't it? But she was really sensible and she just said nothing and I purchased it, so... <laughs> If I think it's a sheep, that's great. <laughs> I thought I'd just, it's Sunday. It's actually the first I'll get this up in the next few days because I think I've done quite a few videos on my channel lately. Just to show you, I ordered this. Uh, it's glass wood. It was about £11, but that would be so cute um, for a really nice, like a mushroom scene, but you're going to have to add that onto the price, so not cheap um i've also applied to be a wholesaler for this is the mug if you didn't see my yarndale um video this is the mug from emma ball designs i think it is and they're just so gorgeous um she's got a lot of other designs she's got sheep and jumpers i have got oh actually yeah i have it here there it is so sheep and jumpers she does other things like that um emma bull limited i mean you can buy direct but it's just it really ties in nicely she's got highland cow stuff as well it's not as good as the sheep it's not as perfect as the sheep the sheep are lovely but i've applied to be a wholesaler there so i was just gonna talk to you briefly whilst i'm doing this one i'm just doing the legs oh my god um cover the ends of the wire i scratched myself can you see yeah you can <laughs> always cover the ends of the wire i mean it wouldn't be long and i'm probably can you could take your eye out if you turned it over like that it just it wouldn't take long at all so yeah cover the ends of your wire so yeah I'm just doing this leg here and I was just gonna chat to you before I finish up this vlog these legs are just gonna be thick and chunky um, because I'm gonna attach wool to the whole of the outside of them because he's going to be a valet black nose and they're just wool 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 and wool that you know they're covered so I'm just literally oh yeah I'm gonna do that pipe cleaner down the end first um so it looks like I might do another video with Heidi Feathers so that will be really good um and I have several let's take that off now I have several other videos 
in my head I want to do a pumpkin video um, I won't say what it is exactly actually uh, so I want to do a pumpkin video another mushroom video um, I don't have an even planned Christmas people I guess I think because the operations coming up I just got to see how that goes first um, but yeah I've got some other sort of simple basic videos oh I've got so many things that I want to do but uh, we'll just keep cracking on but I hope you have enjoyed this vlog I think I have chatted through everything I want to talk through with you I don't think there was any other news oh my owls I've sold oh my goodness I think it's about 18 or 20 courses of my owls and it's Sunday and it was launched on Friday so a massive thank you if that was you I cannot believe it I just thought there was only a few people that wanted it I didn't think it was a hugely like in demand course but yeah thank you so much everybody so really amazed with that this is a really awkward angle so that's it for this month as always a massive thank you next month I am going to stay with Katie and Linda from Needlebugs so I shall be definitely doing my best to go into their beautiful studio and filming a few bits and bobs I have done a questions and answers all about their business on them. That video is in my business section, so do go and have a look at it. Their work is absolutely stunning. If you don't know them, needle bugs, look them up. Um, but yes, I'm going to stay with them in North York Moors, so there'll be lots of fun footage from there. And I'll be finishing this massive sheep, doing pumpkin and mushroom, and lots of other little bits and bobs lined up. So thank you everybody for being here and have a fantastic October and I shall see you at the beginning of November. Take care everybody, bye.